Canopy of Stars Travel, a boutique agency specializing in connecting you and the ones you love to the beauty in God's creation. As girls, when we're traveling, our makeup bags are huge. So I'm so excited to introduce you to my friend, Melissa Hayes. She is a cosmetologist with Lash Goddess in Bastrop, Texas, and she's here to give us all the tips and tricks on how to narrow down our makeup bag when we travel. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How are you today, Melissa? I'm doing great. So this is very fun. I'm excited to do this. Um, I did actually bring one of my, like I said, one of my travel bags <laughs> with me. I brought um, mine too. <laughs> it's huge. Like, oh, oh, it's, oh wow. my goodness. That is huge. <laughs> and I know that when we travel, we can pare it down. I just don't know how to do that. So I, I have a couple pretty good tricks, I would say, up my sleeve for uh, being able to help narrow things down. Um, and I also wanted to take the opportunity to talk about one of the most important things that we actually need also when we travel. I love beauty. I love the beauty industry. I've been in it. I'm going to age myself, but I've been in it for about 20 years. Um, and that's, I've been in skincare and everything else before I finally went and decided I should probably go ahead and get licensed if I want to do this forever. I have some things that I know are really important that we don't want to neglect, um, but I do have at least two items that you can do multiple things with that I, you know, that I would love to share. That would be cool. um, So I want to share two things that we can have now that 20 years ago we couldn't have which is uh, I can go on vacation and have eyebrows and lashes that I don't have to even touch, which is great. Yes, I do work with Lash Goddess um, and we have three locations. We have our Bash Shop location, which is our home. Um, we have Dripping Springs and we have Georgetown. One thing that is amazing is that you can get lashes put on. You can do it the week before you leave for vacation and be confident that for at least two weeks, you're going to feel like your lashes look perfect. So what I have on right now is actually volume lashes and I have had them on for two weeks and it's, it's time for me to get a refill. But if I was on vacation, I'd feel pretty confident being able to wake up and know, hey, I don't have to put on any any eye makeup right now. So lashes are great. And then also eyebrows, you can go and get microblading done if you're adventurous. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> it sounds painful. Um, it's not that bad, but uh, you can do microblading. Uh, also at Lash Goddess, we offer henna, which lasts for about a month. So you could basically get your lashes and your eyebrows done with us before you leave for vacation and those things are handled. For the rest of us that maybe uh, don't want to do lashes, there's other options too. You can always do um, like a lash lift, which is really nice. Um, and that's something we do as well. But what I wanted to focus on aside from those are just our bags. Like you talked about, we tend to carry these ginormous bags mm -hmm. with us. So to downsize, I would say your number one probably most important product is going to be, I would say, SPF. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a few different products I brought with me. Most of them you can get online. In Bastrop, we have a, our local Ulta that you can get some of these products from. But this is one of my favorite products right now. Um, I use almost every day. Um, and I don't know how well you can see it. We can actually see it really well. Oh, good. So this I actually purchased for under $20 from Sephora. And it is a color correcting treatment that has sunscreen in it. This is great for someone who doesn't want to mess with uh, foundation on vacation. That's just not Okay, not a thing. it looks green. It is. And is it so, going to turn our face green? So what it does is it color corrects. So like on myself, 
um, I don't know if you can see, but I have a lot of redness. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna help to calm down my redness, basically like a foundation would, but this is actually hydrating. And I don't know if you can see any, any difference with it, between the two sides, but I can see a little difference. But the important thing is that um, I'm putting, it helps me feel more confident because I'm not as red, but it also is giving me my SPF. And SPF is something that has to be reapplied every two hours. <laughs> okay, I've been doing know. that wrong my entire life. <laughs> so um, that it's one thing I am very passionate about because especially I feel like in the last 10 years, makeup has become such a huge thing. Mm -hmm. I would have even girls, you know, that were 12 wanting to come and buy, you know, a full 10 piece different, you know, makeup products. I and mean, I would always try to tell them the most important thing you can buy is your SPF. You know, make sure you're taking care of your skin. I can't but see yeah, that. I had a amazing trainer when I worked with Philosophy Skincare tell me that every, uh, every SPF product, mm -hmm. when you look at your label and it says, this is an SPF 30, that means you're 30 times more protected with this product on than you are without it. Is there a number we should be looking for? So the, it's not so much about the number. Again, like okay, you're 30 times more protected. If you have SPF 30, you're 30 times more protected. If you have a 15, you're 15 times more protected. Mm -hmm. This is a 50. This is uh, one I really like a lot. Uh, this is from Shiseido, and I, I think you can get this at Ulta.com. I don't, I didn't okay. see it yesterday in Bastrop, but so you're 50 times more protected with this on. But they all have the same time limit. It's for about two hours. You're more protected for about two hours with it on than you are without it. Isn't yes, had no crazy? idea that it had a two-hour time limit. Yes. Wow. So you're more protected for about two hours. For myself, I like to start with this. Okay. For myself, because my lashes are done, I don't need mascara or anything. I, I feel confident that I can use this product, either a powder SPF. This one, I honestly, I think I bought it at our local um, TJ Maxx. Mm -hmm. I know that Ulta has one from the company Derma E okay. that you can buy that's around $20. So this you can carry with you. So not only would I have this in my my kit to take with me, but I'd keep it in my pocket or my fanny pack. So that's how we do the every two hour reapplication. Yes. This would okay. be your touch up. So you literally just like pull it out and at least hit those areas where you know sun is gonna be okay. blasting you. And if you are that person who is like, I am not about to put powder on my face, that's where this guy would come in handy. I wanna say it's about $10. Um, you can get a stick of SPF that you can literally carry in your pocket because it's really small. Um, so if you don't wanna do the powder, carry him with okay. you, put, you know, put a little on, again, like every two hours just to, you know, protect yourself. So that would be my my number one ride or die for um, for vacation in general would be SPF. <laughs> I appreciate the ride or die. That that's yes, the most important number one thing. ride or die. <laughs> because already you all you've got on is your SPF. You've got your eyelashes and your eyebrows done, and you look like you're ready to go anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness. Okay, so this is this is the fun stuff that the next category I have. I went and purchased these. This is Elf brand. These are from Ulta. They have different color options, but I would recommend having something like this that has a good brown color in it that you feel like is close to your natural root color. Okay, so, like our hair color. Yes, ma'am. So what I would say, I would go for maybe like a lighter brown for you. Like you don't have crazy dark brown roots, I don't believe. Like no, they're, they're coming in gray at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you aspire your root color to be. No. 
Um, my, I don't know. We just don't talk about my root color. I think mine is kind of blondish. I, I have some grays in there. This product, I want to say, was two dollars or two ninety nine. And what I love about this is I can I could pick one out that I could tell. Hey, this is pretty close mm -hmm. to uh, what I would use for, for instance, for my eyebrow color. Okay. And so basically, what I would do. Depending on which one which one you get, they have a few different colors in them. Let's say you forgot your brush. I do want to let everyone know you can always, if you have Q-tips with you, you can always use a Q-tip in a jam. Okay, because that big old bag of makeup I have is none of my brushes. My brushes are in a completely different carry-on oh, okay. case. <laughs> it's, well, what if, and what if they lost it? That would be terrible, right? Yes, it would be terrible. <laughs> I would choose a, an eyeshadow palette. Again, you can find these great small ones for like $2.99, but find one that has a good brown color that you feel like kind of is close to your eyebrows. The one I got, this, yes, it is, it's dark, but my, my roots are actually pretty dark, so that's mm -hmm. not too bad. So if I had to, I could use this in a pinch. I could use a Q-tip to, to just apply a little of this color to my eyebrows if I needed to. Also, if I have it as eyeshadow, I might as well use it as eyeshadow as well. So I could use the other end if I wanted to, to uh, put on like a tiny bit of eyeshadow. The other thing I love is I love using my fingers for eyeshadow. Um, I feel like with all the training, extensive training I've went through, I actually got certified in makeup before I became a cosmetologist. I love using my fingers. Like I know how to use every brush that exists. You can use your fingers. So your fingers are warm. We're not talking about using our fingers on other people necessarily, especially not right now. <laughs> but um, use your finger in your eyeshadow if you don't have your brushes and you know, voila, you just can quickly and easily put on your wow. eyeshadow. And then the another thing that I did grab was a brush. If I didn't have the ability to bring a bunch of brushes, I wanted to narrow it down. Again, this is from our local Ulta. It's a Morphe brush and it is called an angled liner slash spoolie brush. Okay. okay. To be specific, it has a number, it's like M158 is the, the brush number. Okay. With this brush, I can do my eyebrows. So again, digging into the, the eyeshadow with this angled brush, it kind of looks like a like it would be a brow brush. I can just put it in and go over my eyebrows and be done with it. So not super difficult. And then it has the little spoolie on the other side. You could use it for, again, for your eyebrows. Okay. But the other thing that I love about this brush in particular is that I can take this same brush. So I can put a drop of water on my hand, take this brush and, and get it wet, but I don't want to soak it. So like if you're using your sink, you would mm -hmm get it wet under the sink and then like tap off the excess water. And then what you can do is you can actually take your brush, but just go on the end. And then if you'll notice, it now is an eyeliner. Okay, this is so clever. One brush, one eyeshadow palette, you can do eyebrows, you can do eyeliner, you can use your fingers and do your eyeshadow. If you're not coming to see me for lash extensions and henna brows, this right here is $10, I think. I was gonna say, in total, like so far, that big old bag that I was carrying, we've got it pared down to right now three things. Our our SPF, the, the eyeshadow box, and the brush yeah. will do whole face and this section. Last thing I have that is would be considered multi-purpose would be something like this. So this, adorable little thing is a brand new product from Benefit. Okay. Is um, a moisturizing lip balm. Okay. But what again, if we are trying to go from 
that giant bag that you have to something that's even smaller than what I have because mine is still not small. <laughs> we need, you know, we need to be able to multitask. This is probably somewhere around $20, which is, you know, it's our most expensive item aside from our SPF, but we can do multiple things with it. Can obviously use it on our lips. And I love that it's hydrating. Mm -hmm. But the other thing, you probably already know what I'm going to do. If we did want a little bit of cheek color, we could also just quickly, especially if you're on vacation and your husband is like, I, we didn't pay to sit in the, the hotel room. <laughs> you can just speed it up and voila, you're done. <laughs> but you've done your whole face with four things. Yes, I guess I have. I did, let's see. The SPF. See, the eyelashes, the eyelashes were done, but yeah, mm -hmm. I did. Um, so the SPF, I wish somebody in Bastrop, Texas carried this, but uh, we do know we can always order things online. Okay. This stuff is amazing. I actually had a girl who gave me a facial. Um, she recommended this to me because of my redness, but it's Tiger Grass by Dr. I think it's Yart, J-A-R-T. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so I used this product. I did my little new friend from Elf Cosmetics. One more thing I didn't show you, but it depending on which of the palettes you grab, the one that I grabbed has a color that's pretty light and creamy. And if I wanted to, I could also use this as a highlighter on my face. So you could do you could do your highlighting, your eyeshadow, your eyebrows, eyeliner. This was magnificent. I'm actually getting ready to go on a trip and I've laid out my makeup, my brushes, and my skincare, and that always takes half of my bag. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so these are excellent <laughs> ideas. Yes, I, I'm the same way. And um, my trouble is that I, I know all this stuff, but I still tend to you know, keep adding more and more to my bag. <laughs> well, for those of you that are watching, we will definitely link all of the information to all the products she shared in the description so you can catch those there. So the only thing that we didn't really discuss was mascara. And I know that you do lashes and I've been looking at them because you and I have seen each other in person and they're beautiful. Are they heavy? Thank you. They are not heavy. You can choose, you have the option of choosing what length you want. You can let your stylist just do her thing and pick what she feels like would look best on you. But we're always gonna ask you questions. We're never just going to put you in lashes to your eyebrows. Like we wanna make sure that, you know, <laughs> do you wear glasses? You know, uh, in fact, mine are borderline too long right now because they actually, I oh, have wow. to pull my, I have to pull my sunglasses down on my nose. <laughs> they, uh, I could feel them hitting my hitting my sunglasses this morning. If you wear glasses all the time, you definitely let your lash stylist know that. But they're great. I'm, they're super easy to maintain. We have everything that you need to take care of them. We have an organic lash cleanser. And then we have some products too from Grande Cosmetics, which I love. One is... This is actually another brow product we just started carrying, I'm in love with. Just brush through your eyebrows again. If not everything I mentioned is for everyone. Not everyone wants to do, as you said, like the microblading is, sounds painful. Henna, some people are allergic to henna. This is like a little tiny small product. Okay. You can just uh, brush on if you don't wanna do, use eyeshadow on your eyebrows. We have a few retail products if you have tried them before and didn't feel like they were for you, mm -hmm. we do other things as well. So you can always just come in and, and find out what other options there are. Um, I love a lash lift. I really do. Like for someone who isn't inter interested in lash extensions, lash lifts are great. Especially if you have someone who shows you a good lash serum to make your natural lashes grow long. Okay. Uh, okay. Lash lift is great. But yes, we can definitely help you find whatever you're looking for. And if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, Melissa, how would they do that? If somebody would like to book an appointment with Lash Goddess, they can go to lashgoddess.com and just be sure to select which location you want okay. uh, your appointment to be at. You can also 
come by. There's someone here Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 7. And you can also call us or text us at 512-200-2120. And you're at Lash Goddess in Bastrop. Yes. All right, friends and everybody that's watching, what product did she share that you think you would enjoy most? Be sure to drop that in the comments because she and I will both be checking them. And if you've got any tips on how to make my makeup bag smaller, I would appreciate those also. So put them in there. Thank you so much for joining us today, Melissa. I've loved Thank our time. Thank you. Thank you. I've enjoyed it too. You're welcome. I wish you well. I wish you safe and happy travels. And I can't wait to see you under a canopy of stars. Thank you.